Apprentice, I see you've touched down on Alderaan, Jason Wilson's home planet where Norman Carr found her. Excellent. You will discover everything you can about this Padawan and destroy everyone she loves there. I'll decide what's to be done on this planet. You have a long leash, Apprentice, but there is much less wiggle room here. Unfortunately, with the civil war for the Alderanian throne raging, your contact, Duke Kendo of House Thule, has become unreliable. Kendo was supposed to find Jaser Wilson's family for you, but it seems he's distracted. You must undistract him. So, I have to mop up your mess. Take care not to become one of my messes yourself, Apprentice. Kendo is a political creature. The consequences of failing me are abstract for him. Once they are made concrete, he'll cooperate. You'll find him in the House Thule Executive Chambers. Make haste. You lack patience, Duke Kendo. There are standard procedures that must be adhered to. Your disregard for our family rules is appalling. You are an abomination. Goodbye, cousin. Fools. They won't be feeling much of anything for long. Duke Kendo. Darth Barris sent me. What? You're not on my schedule. I don't appreciate being interrupted. Barris isn't even on my radar, Sith. I have a war to wage and personal ambitions to achieve here. I'm here to adjust your radar. A threat? You see these Sith I have attending me? Your corpse will be my message to your master. Femres, make this intruder a distant memory, will you? I'm sorry, Duke Kendo. We are assigned to protect you and support your interests in the struggle for Alderaan. But we serve the Emperor first, and we will not cross Darth Barras. Or his apprentice. It's good to know some people have respect. We consider you an ally, friend. Ah. Okay. That was unexpected. It seems I may have been hasty regarding your master's needs. How can I make amends? You can start by bowing to me, too. Of course. Consider it a small demonstration of my repentance. I pledge the same level of focus that had me so absorbed in my own work. I pledge myself to your directives, and as I aid you, perhaps you'll be moved to help me in mine. We'll see. Time will tell. I am focused and at your service. As I recall, Darth Barris wanted information on a young Alderanian girl who was taken off planet to train with Jedi Master Nomen Kar. I was to locate her family so that you could, well, send the girl a message. That is my understanding. The truth is, information about this girl is difficult to come by. I managed only one lead. Nomen Kar's Padawan fits the description of the former handmaiden of a noblewoman in House Alder named Lady Renata. I've questioned her already, but Renata is protected by House Alder's greatest champion. The man has never met his match in melee. He's never met me. If I may, once you've eliminated her protector and gotten what you need, I would personally be very indebted if you'd arrange to have Lady Renata brought to us for questioning. I'll take it under consideration. All right. I just hope the mood strikes you. While House Alder is a small player on Alderaan, it is affiliated with House Organa. Therefore, Lady Renata's estate is in hostile territory and very well defended. Be cautious. Be ready for my return. I do hope to see you soon. Until then... My lady, we have intruder. Lady Renata, 
I seek the family of your former handmaiden, Jason Wilson. What's this nonsense you're spouting? I don't know what you're talking about. Lady, let me kill this Sith like the last one Duke Kendo sent. Windred, you don't need my permission to kill an enemy that comes barging through my door. Make it fast. Let me save you the trouble. This Sith faster than last one. Ooh. Lady, I... sorry. This can't be. Um, I... I'm sorry I ordered him to kill you, Sith. I hope you don't hold it against me. You see, I've been fending off Duke Kendo's advances for some time, and I just assumed you were here for him. If you're not working for the Duke, I... I'll gladly cooperate. You... you mentioned a... a girl, yes? Jace or someone? My patience has just about run out. No, no, wait. Give me a moment. I was aware of the young handmaiden who left Alderaan with the Jedi Master. And I did hear the name Jace of Wilsum, but you're mistaken. I didn't know her. The girl never served me. Do you know anything about her? Duke Kendo can include that in his interrogations. The Duke congratulates you on your impressive venture into House Alde. I'm here to take the fair lady to him. No! Don't let him take me to that... that pig! I do know who the girl worked for. I'll tell you all I can, if only you'll keep me from Duke Kendo. You have my attention. Then we are agreed. Good. Before she left with the Jedi, Jaso Wilson was the handmaiden of Giselle Organa of House Organa. They were inseparable. Before the war, Giselle was an aristocrat, like myself. Now she leads the Organan troops against House Olgo. Where exactly is this Giselle Organa? Uh, her headquarters are somewhere on the front line. The Duke will know where to find Giselle Organa, and how to reach her. If you let me deliver Lady Renata to him, I'm sure Kendo will happily shed light on the situation for you. The Lady isn't going anywhere. Thank you. It's good to know some Sith have a sense of honor. Fine. As I said, I will not oppose you, nor will I defy your decision here. I meant what I said. I'm sure Kendo can help you find and confront Giselle. You should consult with him on it. Be sure he's prepared when I get there. Of course, friend. I will see you at House Thule. Despite the destruction you caused, I hold you in high esteem, Sith. I only hope you make that worm Kendo pay for misleading you. Take nothing he says at face value. I appreciate your advice. I'm sure you'll be fine. Goodbye. I heard you decided not to allow Thimrest to bring the Lady Renata to me. I am most disappointed. Don't cry too hard. You'll get over it. You don't know me very well. By denying my claim to Renata, you certainly aren't providing me much incentive to help you. Where's my motivation? I suspect self-preservation is incentive enough, or maybe I should just kill you. Consider me motivated. So, Fimrest tells me the lead was fruitful. Although Lady Renata was not the gold's mistress, she knew who was. Giselle Organa. I should say, General Giselle Organa. Now you have to track her down, which poses a bit of a problem. If you can't solve the problem, you should be afraid. Well, I'd better come up with a solution, then. Giselle Organa leads the Organa War against House Ulgo. Her headquarters is protected by an impenetrable force field. No firepower can breach it. The force field allows Giselle and her advisors to be stationed very close to the front and maintain a more hands-on command. Sounds like General Giselle knows what she's doing. As smart as she is, there must be a way to overcome her. Wait. Yes. A force field needs power to maintain itself, yes? So, if we manage to cut the power... And I bet I know exactly where Giselle is getting her juice. If I'm right, you could just walk through the front door. Let's cut the chase. Almost all the power on Alderaan is supplied by the planetary generator. Giselle must be piggybacking the system to power her force field. 
Several of my fellows do this to maintain their special security needs. A precise charge at the generator will force fail-safes to fire. The planet won't miss a beat, but ancillary systems like Giselle's force field will have to be manually reset, which could take some time. What do you think of this plan? I'll tell you, I just don't trust this guy. What a charming creature you are. Believe me, this is the only way to gain access to the Organa headquarters. Vimres, fetch a seven-stroke seven detonator from my arms cabinet there, and give it to our friend. As you wish. The Alderaan power generator is located above the Strait Valley, and it boasts the planet's most advanced security systems. You'll have to fight your way in, set the charge, then fight your way out before the boom. It won't be easy. Are you trying to make me angry? Forgive me. Just seeking to prepare you the best I'm able. Once you've detonated the generator, you'll still have to wade through Giselle's surrounding army and invade her headquarters before her force field is reset. I'll be eagerly tracking your progress. Good luck. General, our standing army outside is being wiped out. Someone or something is on its way here. My technicians almost have the force field reset, but we're still a sitting duck. There have been several assassinations of House Thule officials, whose security systems were downed by the generator explosion. In my opinion, House Olgo is behind all this. Your opinion is about to change. I'm here for information on Jason Wilson's family. Intruder! Giselle, get behind me. None of you panic. I'll handle this. Sith, did I hear you right? You've perpetrated all this in search of my former handmaiden? I doubt you would have taken my call. It might have worked. I'm a practical woman. You have decimated my forces outside. They were to be deployed to secure a part of my front that's about to fall. Now I have no reinforcements. You seek information only I have, and my front needs bolstering. Perhaps we can help each other. That sounds reasonable. I'm glad we see eye to eye. Now on my left flank, there's a tunnel between my forces and House Ulgo's that has been hard pressed by the enemy. I have only a ragtag troop defending this tunnel, and Ulgo is about to attack. You must repel the enemy forces. You'd better hold up your end of the deal. I am a woman of my word. What's left of my forces at the tunnel choke point are being led by Lieutenant Dargus. I'll let Dargus know you're coming. He'll contact me as soon as you've succeeded. Assuming you do. Your lack of faith is an insult, Giselle. Believe me. I know you're my best chance. Goodbye, Seth. As uncomfortable as it is to say, I hope we speak again soon. All right, men. This is it. With the captain... dead. It falls on me to rally what's left of us. I, I guess the reinforcements aren't gonna make it. We'd better get ready. Ulgo forces are fast approaching. I can feel the tunnel walls shaking. Then we shake the walls right back at them. Lieutenant, we've been flanked. No, wait. General Giselle sent word that a Sith would be coming to our aid. But I thought I must have misheard her. Sir, I'm not trusting a Sith. No way. We're drastically outnumbered, Sergeant. The General's given an order, and besides, without help, we die for sure. The rest of the men and me aren't sticking around for a suicide run. I'll see to it none of you makes it to the door. Olgo's coming, men! The Sith won't have time to fight us! I say we go! Come on! Uh, Sarge, I, I don't think so. The Sith could probably waste us all without batting an eyelash. Yeah, and I don't relish the idea of being a deserter anyway. Glad to hear it, men. Sergeant, you are relieved, and I will report this to General Giselle personally. That won't be necessary. You see, I told you, don't trust the Sith! <laughs> 
Lieutenant, the Ulgo forces are coming now. What do we do? Stay out of my way and watch. Take your positions. This is it. That was... that was amazing! They just kept coming and coming, and, and you... you're a war machine! I appreciate your observation. Uh, you might want to stop all the chatter. Those bozos are regrouping for another attack. Get ready. Let them come. They'll find I'm more than their match. Here they come! Just how I like it. Hey, I just snuck a peek into the tunnel. There's a heap of those laser brains getting ready for another swipe. Some people are gluttons for punishment. Get ready to be overrun. This always does the trick. forces are retreating! You... you did it! Too bad. I was just getting warmed up. If that was a warm-up, I'd hate to see the main attraction! I'll get General Giselle on the holo for you. She'll be very relieved. What's the word, Dargus? I assume that since you're hailing me, the day is won? Yes, General. The Sith single-handedly turned back the entire attack. Sith, as painful as it has been, it seems you've come through. I hope you're not expecting a thank you. You're welcome, General. Any excuse to slaughter, I suppose. Now, I promise to tell you where Jason Wilson's parents could be found. They have been servants in Castle Organa for many years. Sith, the Wilsons are simple, innocent, hard-working people. They deserve your mercy. I'll take it under consideration. That's all I can ask. Uh, goodbye, Sith, and thanks for saving my life. General Jessel's warning was true. The Sith has come for us. Men, rally around me. The fight is upon us. I didn't think a single assailant could make it through Castle Organa's defenses all the way here to us. I kill everything that gets in my way. Mark my words. I will stop you, Sith. You will not harm Parvin and Gregor Wilson. I vow it. Try to stop me and you die. Please. If we really are the cause of all this death, I... I want to know why. Fine. Say your peace, Sith. I'm not going anywhere. And I will protect them, no matter what. It's going to be fun acquainting you with reality. Please, no more bloodshed. If there's something you want from us, I'm willing to listen. Gregor, this has to do with Jaysa. I just know it. Give her a prize. Jaysa must get her false sensitivity from you. I knew she shouldn't have gone with the Jedi. Now the Empire is hunting her. Sif, Jaisal was our life. She was going to marry Organa nobility so that we would no longer have to be servants. When she left, we sacrificed that dream. We don't know anything about Jaisa now. We were told we would probably never see her again. We are mere servants. What could you want with us? I'm here to deliver you from servitude. You... you want to help us? Gregor, 
The Sith is toying with us before killing us. Heed your wife's warning, Gregor Wilson. Sith are devious and demented. Is that what you mean, Sith? By killing us, you end our life of servitude? C can't you spare us? You'll survive the day if you become my subjects. What do you mean by this? What is to happen to us if we do as you say? I'll see to it that you live like kings. Oh, you dirty, no good Cretan! Marvin, Jace has gone off to a life of discipline and detachment. We are unlikely to ever see her again. The Sith is offering us a way out of this, a way to live. Jace is sensitive, Gregor. She will feel our betrayal. It will fester in her. Don't you see? This Sith is banking on that. Did you hear me say you'll live like kings? My wife can't see the big picture. You offer a choice between death or pledging ourselves to our daughter's enemy. I choose that Parvin and I live in the arms of the Empire, and I trust that my daughter will understand and remain strong. Your wife has to agree as well. Please, my sweet. Stand with me on this. My place is with you, Gregor. As long as we're alive, there's hope. We are in agreement. We shall embrace the Empire. Tell us what happens next. You'll receive instructions at the Imperial landing. <clears throat> I'm so glad you've all found an accord. But there's still the matter of you being our enemy, Sith. Not only will I not allow the Wilsons to do this, but you had yourself a killing spree getting here. That can't go unpunished. Stand in my way, and everyone dies. Yes, Master Volrider. Stay true to the Jedi Code and keep the peace. Too many have died already today. Gregor and I go of our own free will, and spare this house any further pain. This doesn't sit right. But I can't attack someone walking in peace. Even a Sith. You just saved your life. The code is everything, Sith. But I wouldn't expect you to respect it. Leave out the back door to avoid further casualties. I'll say nothing further. Ah, Apprentice. The Sith Fenris who attends Duke Kendo was able to patch me through to you directly. Excellent. I am seeking an update. News of your search for Jason Wilson's family has reached me, and I am quite concerned. Relax, old man. All is under control. That's not what I am hearing. Duke Kendo contacted me to tell me that you have been busying yourself with personal exploits and disregarding my mission. You believed him? He's a fool. I know to take him with a grain of salt. But you've been there for some time. Tell me you found the family of Noman Kar's Padawan. Tell me they have been taken care of. You insult me by insinuating otherwise. Then all is well. Good. No doubt the Padawan is twisting with grief. You eclipse my greatest hopes for you and prove you belong at my side. Which makes my susceptibility to Duke Kendo's gossip about you all the more foolish. You said it, I didn't. I have learned to follow all roads to their conclusion. So when I hear something alarming, I always pursue it. First off, Kendo said that you set an explosion that caused the death of several Thule dignitaries. I'll kill that worm. I assume then that wasn't the case. Shouldn't surprise me. Kendo also said that you helped the Republic defend their front in Organa's war against House Ulgo, painting you as a traitor. Doing so expedited my mission. Well, I do not care about the trivial war on Alderaan. All that matters to me is that your mission is complete. For whatever reason, the man has taken it upon himself to slander you. I have no further use for Duke Kendo. Punish him however you please. If it were me, he'd pay severely. Looks like it's time for a bloodbath. Do what you will, but quickly. Until we destroy the threat of Jason Wilson, nothing else is important. Goodbye, apprentice.
Ah, come in. I heard of your success, and I'm so very pleased for you. You told Barris I murdered your rivals, and you called me a traitor. Oh, <laughs> I see. How awkward for me. Allow me to explain. I realized when you blew up the power generator, several of my rivals would be exposed. So I seized the opportunity to eliminate them. I had company when I was speaking with your master, and I needed to keep my fellow house members blind to my maneuvering. That is a lie. You contacted Barris yourself, alone. Lying to me was your last mistake. I... I really wanted Barris to know that I was looking out for him. It was harmless. I knew you would succeed, and all Barris would care about was that. Please... Please don't kill me. Femres, you and your man are assigned to me. If I am attacked, you must defend. If Darth Barriss' apprentice decides you die, we will not intercede. Kendo is going to die. You can count on that. It will be a pleasure to be relieved of this assignment. Can we help at all? I don't need any help. No! You're supposed to protect me! He was a sad and twisted waste of space. Serving him was torture. I can imagine. Now we report back to our master on the council. We will be paying attention to your exploits. Farewell. You crushed Alderaan under your boot, apprentice. I am incredibly impressed. The planet will feel the sting for years to come. I'd better be earning much more than your accolades. When all is accomplished, the benefits will be considerable. Norman Carr's Padawan can no longer hide in anonymity. I am pleased. By rooting out this Jason Wilson's parents, you have reached across the galaxy to strike a sharp blow at our enemies. Every lead followed perfectly, every planet ravaged. Our adversary is growing antsy, I can feel it. Expect news soon. Barris out. My lord, I thought it prudent not to interrupt Darth Barris. We received a recorded transmission. It is queued when you are ready. Sith, I'm Jason Wilson. My master, Noman Carr, has no idea I'm sending this message. Let's be real. We both know this isn't about us. Ah. The hunted seeks the hunter. Our masters pretend otherwise, but this is personal. You and I are only pawns in their private war, and those I care about are caught in the middle. It has to stop. Wow. Gotta give it to her. She sure got guts. She certainly does. I appreciate directness. And as merciful as your actions have been, it's time you stopped this passive-aggressive campaign. This message includes coordinates where I'll be waiting in my ship. Let's discuss this face to face. No more nonsense. What do you think of that, Captain? It could be a trap, my lord. Noman Khan may have put her up to it. Hey, don't listen to Captain Paranoid here. I don't think it's a trap. I trust her. Thanks for the input, Fed. The coordinates are set, my lord. We can rendezvous with her ship whenever you give the word. Well, well. We're going to have to thank Noman Carr after all. The Sith showed. Stand down, Sith. The Padawan you seek is not here. Master Carr discovered her plan and talked her out of it. It's not your day. You were expecting one lowly little Padawan to crush. And instead, you get us. You'll do just fine. I enjoy destroying your kind. Then we have something in common. I am Alden. This is Xylix. We are fully trained Jedi Knights and more than your match. You should submit. Of course, we have yet to encounter a Sith who had the sense to surrender. You all seem bent on having us destroy you. I have no quarrel with you. Let's just go our separate ways. Now, why would we agree to just let you go? Xylix, we assume this Sith would engage, as all others we faced have. If that's not the case... No, Alden. This Sith will continue to hunt Noman Carr and his Padawan. 
We must end the threat for good. True Jedi don't attack to kill. The light side demands temperance. Who are you to lecture about the light side? The Sith force us to take measures like this. You, Sith, pose an exception. Your vile attempts to hurt Noman Carr and Jason Wilson are provocation enough. You sound desperate to justify yourself. That's enough out of you! Alden, it's time to end this! No. Xylix, I... I'm unsure. Master Carr claims this Sith means Jace a harm, but we have no proof. Master Carr's word is proof enough. I have no crisis of conscience, assuming his assessment is sound. That's an assumption I cannot make, my friend. I will not engage. I must walk away. And I urge you to do the same. You may have derailed Alden's resolve, Sith, but your luck ends there. I'll take you on myself. You're going to regret that. Never! I yield to you! Damn Alden for leaving me to face you alone. The result would have been the same. Your strength is undeniable. Is there such power in the dark side? I leave you to ponder your future. I am a broken man. Time is the time of this call is fortuitous. I was just about to contact you with news. It's about time. I was growing impatient. Tell me what's developed. It's gratifying to see that you are as obsessed with this as I. I have received a transmission from Noman Carr, calling me out, if you will, challenging me to face him to the death. Our enemy has become desperate. I'm sure you'll defeat him, Master. Oh, I have no intention of making the meeting. Carr fails to understand I have outgrown our personal dispute. He expects me to jump at the chance of strangling him. He will be unprepared for you. Sounds like you're trying to avoid confronting him. Jaso Wilson has felt your disruptions, not mine. You are what will draw her out. The duel is to happen on Hutter, at the site of Noman Carr's betrayal so long ago. A fitting place for this to end. Defeat him, but do not kill him. His torment will reach out to his Padawan. He will be the bait that brings her to you. Sounds like a plan. I can feel Jaso Wilson on the verge of breaking, and Carr's desperate actions confirm it. Subdue the Master and the pupil will come to save him. I have foreseen it. Your presence tells me that my fellows Olden and Xylix must have failed. Pity. Should have known Barris couldn't be trusted. As a man of my word, I'm here, alone as agreed. Your master shows himself a coward, sending you in his stead. You sound upset, Master Carr. Angry, even. Your crusade has affected me, Sith. I am not blind to that. But I've wandered the line between the dark and the light before. I walked among your master and the Sith. My connection to the light survived them, and it shall survive you. I'm curious about your history. What exactly happened between you? There isn't time for reminiscing. Whatever adulterated version your master told you will have to suffice. I have no choice but to put an end to you, and then all will become calm again. Once you're out of the way, Jason will provide the proof I need to open the Jedi Council's eyes and expose Barriss's network of spies. You mean that network you invented in your head? I'll waste no more time with lies. This ends now, Sith. The Force is very strong with you. I must dig deeper. Stand down, Carl. No one has to die. Never. No! This is not right! Fall! You must fall to me! 
a weakening call. Surrender. Silence, Sith. My wound is mortal, Sith. At least I die knowing you'll never find Jaysa. My lord, Darth Barra sent us in case you needed help. Clearly that's not the case. He said Noman Kar should be kept alive. May we stabilize him? No. Barris be damned! I want... to die. Then Jaysa will be safe. Despite what you think, I'm not trying to kill your Padawan. Lies. Tricks. We'll save him, my lord, and then be out of your way in an adjacent chamber. Hurry, man! The Jedi's fading! I... am alive. I see through you, Sith. You only saved me so that Jason would believe your heart is pure. I will not be the bait that draws Jaysa to you. There's no reason for you to become so distraught. I was supposed to expose Barris and open the Jedi Council's eyes. It was my destiny! Jaysa is mine! The glory of defeating Barris is mine! Hey, looky looky. Jaysa showed up. Her power is considerable. Sith, I have come. It seems I was expected. Your men outside let me pass. Release Master Carr. Your efforts to draw me out have been a success. Jaysa, no! I told you to stay put. How dare you defy me! I have long been waiting for this moment. My sacrifice for nothing! Stupid child! For all your power, you have understood nothing. What have you... done to him, Sith? Has this been inside him all along? No. It can't be. No one can hide such darkness. Somehow you've turned him mad! I only exposed what was lurking inside. Is that what you call what you've been doing? You spared Master Yamak on Tatooine, and my parents on Alderaan. Now, I felt Master Carr slipping toward death, but you... You saved him. Your actions belie your station. Is it real, or has it all been a trick to get me to lower my guard? I thought you could sense the true nature of any being. Use your power, Jason. Look into the Sith's heart, and you will see. Indeed. Let me experience this power of yours firsthand. Very well, then. I see... mercy... and fairness, and even, perhaps, compassion. You have walked the light path. Sparing Master Yonlock and my parents are true reflections of you. But it is said that Sith embody darkness. How is this possible? To walk among Sith and not be discovered is an incredible challenge. Don't listen, Jaysa. It's all a trick. The Sith has disguised himself and me to cause you to doubt your power. I... I don't know what to believe! You told me there was order to the galaxy that you would show me the truth. But nothing is true! Both of you are trying to drive me insane! It's Darth Barris. He is manipulating us all. Kill the Sith. Kill Barriss' liar and you'll see! You must do what you believe is right. Don't tell me what I must do! I no longer believe in anything! Defend yourself, Sith! Oh, my God. 
I am no match. You had the opening you needed to kill me, and yet you held back. Get it through your head. You can trust me. Your actions reflect only light. You appear to be an agent of the dark side, but it's a mask. But Master Carr also wears a mask, and his deception is a much uglier one. It's about time you figured it out. All my life I've put up with deceit and denial. I thought the Jedi would be different. You've shown me otherwise. You've exposed Master Carr for what he is. It's your power that reveals a person's true nature. Your conviction and purity bring a reckoning that cannot be denied. I want that. Join me, and from within the Sith Empire we can forge a lasting peace. Yes, I see the advantage of this. So much more can be achieved from within. At last, I feel a sense of purpose. Something I can count on. What do you wish of me? And what shall we do with Master Carr? He has turned away from the light. He needs guidance to heal and find his way back. Your wisdom is unrivaled, my lord. Jaysa, I'll see to it that the Jedi disavow you. You will be labeled an enemy of the Order. Then I'll finally know where I stand with you. You took me as far as you were able. I hope this does not leave you bitter. Truth can cause the most painful wounds. I wish him the best. I am ready to learn your ways, my lord. And I look forward to aiding you any way I am able. No. No. This cannot be... my fate. Who are you to preside over me? You. You are... nothing. I am... I am Noman Carr. Apprentice, my soldiers informed me that you subdued Master Carr, but I've heard no further update. What has transpired? Where is Noman Carr? Once the directive was achieved, I saw no reason to keep him alive. Interesting. I would have thought I'd sense his death. No matter, I suppose. The demise of Noman Carr is a long time in the making. And will be long remembered. I see you have a new passenger. J. Sel Wilson, I presume. What was your first clue? I sense her devotion to you, apprentice. However did you manage that? When will you realize there is nothing I cannot accomplish? I'll admit this is more than I was expecting. There's no denying you are a master of the dark arts now. Only the most accomplished among us are named as lords among Sith. You have more than earned the distinction. I hereby confer the title of Sith Lord upon you. You honor me. Through your exemplary service, you honor yourself. I award a considerable stipend to those who attain such a rank in my service. Enjoy it. Now celebrate as you see fit. Then return to me here on Dromund Kos. I have great plans for us. Wow. A lord. I'm impressed. Congratulations, my lord. You've both been a great help. Service is its own reward. Yeah. What he said. I already prepared Jace's quarters. I'll go ahead and show her to them. Nice of you to assume some initiative. I'm here to help. Come on, Jaysa, let's get you set up. Whenever you need me, my lord, whatever your order, I'll be ready. Make this ship your home. You are so very gracious. So, my lord, now you have the girl. A victory, I dare say, even Barris failed to anticipate. I'm a bit perplexed. 
Your methods have been rather unorthodox to this point. I know what I'm doing, Captain. Of course, my lord. Apologies. I leave you to enjoy this achievement. You wanted to talk? Nothing crazy. Just thinking about what happened back on Narshada with the old gang. Didn't realize until I saw Taunt again that I've always found stand-in big sisters. First Risha, then Taunt. Now you. I'm here whenever you need me, Vet. You are an amazing woman. Plus, we have the best making friends story. So there I was, being enslaved. All right, back to Sith business. You know, stand-in family is all well and good, but seeing the old gang again, it just made me miss my mom and sister. Which is sort of weird. My memories are so old. I remember having the memories more than I remember the actual events. Does that make any sense? Sometimes it just helps to talk about it. I guess. Someday I'll have to do something more than talk, I suppose. Right now, I just think, what would Tiva be like today? The last time I saw my sister, she was 10, 12. Okay, enough of that. Moving along. What's on your mind? Nothing. Why, you expect me to be all mopey? It's too nice outside. Let's play two truths and a lie. I tell you three things about me, and you tell me which isn't true. Maybe you haven't been paying attention. I win all contests. Okay, here goes. I've been in jail 16 times. I've got three sisters. I've worked as a hired assassin. Which one is a lie? You only have one sister. Yes, Tiva. Good job. I'll have to try something a bit more obscure next time. Okay, enough games. I wouldn't want someone to start thinking the Sith were getting fun. Sometimes I think it's just better to be born male. At least if you're a slave. I keep thinking of Tiva, my sister. She wasn't strong enough to work in the mines, but she got more beautiful every year. Mother tried to hide it with mud and filthy clothes. She was afraid that if Tiva was discovered, she'd be taken away for other work. Other work? That's putting it nicely. Anyway, I've got some credits put aside, and I want to hire a tracker to find Tiva and Mother. I just need to use the Imperial data files on board, get some leads for the tracker to start with. That okay? Of course, Vet. Whatever will help. You're the best! Okay, next free moment I have, I'll start running some searches. You wanted to talk? I did it! Maybe you didn't think I could, but I did. A Kubas tracker named Krata found my sister Tiva. Found where she worked, even the name of her boss. She's on Nar Shada. Can you believe that? Krata wouldn't tell me anymore until I paid him, but he found her. No time like the present. You are the best. We need to meet Krata the Kubas in a cantina on Nar Shada. I'll settle the bill with them, get the specifics, and then see my sister. Master, I feel compelled to tell you. I am uneasy fighting alongside die-hard Imperials. It seems like a foolish risk. We are always surrounded by the enemy. If it's discovered that we're working to reform the Empire, what will we do? What will happen? Every precaution must be taken so that the truth is protected. Just don't discuss our greater plans unless you and I are in private. This work is so grim, and I must learn to play the part of the Dark Apprentice. I've always despised those who pretend to be what they are not. Now it seems I've joined their ranks. It has to become natural, Jasa. Second nature. I hear you, Master. I will follow your lead. I'm going to show you that you made the right decision taking me on. Theotasic la plasma era. Andra vimos pandimas protiscada vitera died. I've got your credits. 
You said you had more information about Tiva? Grata apatiki irprit veritimi zavazia zavebe kazis. You did find her sister, yes? Alaribas algasis gali. Here are your credits. Now will you please tell me where my sister is? Vatarana ango, Miss Aka nanom alas potas era. Smarcio pobudas mana ir padre mana narcali. Fantastic. Thanks. Let's go find this crystal woman. Atogia parek halatima dimas. Crystal? Yeah, cute thing. You looking for work? Men come here looking for something exotic. How about a Sith Lord on staff? That's not a bad idea, actually. Sense of danger. We're not here for a job. We're looking for my sister, Tiva. Ah, of course. I guess everyone has somebody that loves them. Tiva! No women, no couples, and no, I don't want to hear any argument. Tiva? Hold on, Bet. I want to explore this rule against women. I mean, we're all open-minded here. Shut up. Please? Crazy Sith channel turned to mute? Sena? What the? You're alive? Despite my best efforts. This is my friend. She's, um, a Sith Lord. I'm going to need to have Jaysa start coming along to announce me. Ignore her. She's all sorts of great and crazy. So I'm guessing this wasn't a voluntary, uh, career move. I've been working here two years and it's killing me. I kept thinking I'd get sold again, but I'm too old. Sena, you have to get me out of here. Wow. Okay. Big favor. Can you buy my sister's freedom? This should cover it. Go pay your master. You're a free woman. You see why I hang out with the Sith Lord? I see. I see. I I'll be right back. It's done. I need to get my stuff. I, I can never thank you enough. Sena, I'll be in touch soon, okay? Make it soon. Well, that was amazing. Shall we go?